In this video, we will see how to convert text value into corresponding date value in Excel. Sometimes while importing data from any external sources, uh, Excel cannot recognize the dates in proper date formats. So Excel considers them as text data. So when we have this type of data, we cannot perform any kind of dates operations. So there are so many ways where we can convert the text data into corresponding date type. So in this video, we will see using functions date value and value. So date value function converts a date that is stored as text to a serial number. So as we have earlier discussed that Excel stores the dates in serial numbers so as we know the dates starts from 1st january 1900 so that is considered as the serial number one and similarly for rest of the dates it keeps on increasing and value function converts a text string that represents a number to a number and this is the syntax value under bracket text so this text can represent any date or time or any number that we'll see now so these are some dates which is currently in the text format that we need to convert into actual dates so let's apply the function equal to date value and the argument will be this one close the bracket and press enter so here we are getting a number so as i said excel stores the dates as serial numbers so this serial number represents first of april and the year will be because here we have not specified the year it will automatically take the current system year so currently it is 2022 so we'll apply this function across all these records and next we'll see this record which contains both date and time and here it shows only one number so date value function can convert only the date part not the time part so that is a limitation of the date value function similarly next is a number that is simply 20 and here we are getting an error so this is another limitation of the date value function date value function cannot convert a simple number into corresponding date similarly we have another number where we have delimiters as the dots not slash or hyphen so again any delimiter which is other than slash or dash that cannot be converted into the corresponding date using this date value function now let's see the value function how it works equal to value and i'll pass the argument as this one close the bracket and press enter and now we can see both the functions results the same number that is 44652 so later on we will convert this into some customized date now let's apply this function across all these records okay now let's verify these results so here we can see first three records are same now this record as it contains both date and time the value function can convert both the date part as well as the time part and the time part is converted into the decimal numbers next this is a number that is 20 and as you can see value function can do it now the next one cannot be converted using any of these two functions so for this kind of text or the text date we have other methods that we'll see in our next video now let's provide some customization we'll select this column and here we will select the long date format and we can see the first record is 1st april 2022 as it doesn't contain the year converts into the current system year now next is 1st april 2021 this is in the full date format so here this is 01022001 so this is 1st february 2001 similarly this one as well now let's apply here we'll give the formatting as let's provide some custom date format we'll select this one where we have both date and time here we'll provide four times m now let's click ok so as you can see it now it provides both date and time and we can see this record where this value function provides us 1st february 2001 and 21 10 that is 9 10 pm and now this record where we have number as 20 it gives us 20th january 1900 so as we know the date starts from 1st january 1900 so the number 20 gives us 20th january 1900 so here one more information i want to give excel keeps the text data with left align whereas it keeps the date type of data right align by default so that's all about date value and value functions i hope it helps you and to know more about the custom date format you can refer my previous video link is in the description box as well as you can find the video here so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching